Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Victor Bystrom. And they say, you know the tent tile for the overworld. Is it possible to have two different transfer events on one tile? For example, let's say you make a sub-map for the tent tile with a camp, and you want to have two exits from the camp, so you need two transfers on one tile in the overworld to transfer back to the corresponding exit depending on the direction you enter from. Is this possible in any way? Uh, yes, it is, Victor. Basically, you're just going to do uh, a switch statement, um, but it's not really a switch statement, you're, and you're also not using uh, switches. It's uh, <clears throat> basically a nested condition. So uh, inside of this little transfer event, actually, let me just show you real quick, and then we'll look at the event to see if it's something you'd like to learn how to replicate. So this is an old project that I used to work on, um, but basically we have a little tent here, and if we walk down, we enter from the top, and if we walk to the top of it, we'll exit from the top, and if we go to the right, <clears throat> we'll, e we'll enter, uh, or from the left, we'll enter from the left of the map, and we can also exit from the left. If we enter from the bottom, we'll be around the bottom of the map, and we can exit from the bottom, and we'll be facing down. If we enter from the right, going left, then we'll enter same on this map uh, on the right hand side, going left, and we can exit the same way. So this is sort of what you're talking about, and I had already done this in another project, so I thought I would show it to you, and we'll go over some of the things that uh, I did in order to achieve that. So the first thing we did, we've got our world map, and then we have our sub map underneath that, uh, the tent. So we can edit this event. This is our transfer event. And as a transfer event, we're going to set the trigger to player touch. Uh, the priority is going to be below characters, that way it's not colliding. Um, so inside of the contents, we have conditionals here. We're going to right click, insert new conditional branch. And on tab 3, I think it is, you have character, player is facing down. And then we're going to create an else branch. So if they're facing down, we're going to play a sound effect. And we're going to transfer the player to uh, the map sellers area. And we're going to put them, you know, somewhere around the top as if they entered from uh, the top. Because, you know, they're facing down, so they were going down. Um, we're also going to change the way that they're facing the direction to down. <clears throat> Inside the else handler, uh, because we are selecting create an else branch, uh, we're going to say if the player is facing left. We're going to do the same thing, conditional branch, t uh, tab 3, character player facing left with an else branch. And same sound effect, but this time we're going to move them to a different location on that same map over here. And uh, it's also going to change the direction to players facing left. Uh, the else handler on that is for a player uh, is facing right, same thing. The else handler on that is if the player is facing up. Now this is our default. Uh, basically if this was a switch statement, this would be our default. <clears throat> so we don't need to create an else branch here. If the player is facing up, then we're going to transfer the player to the same map, but in the direction facing up and towards the bottom of the map. And uh, that's it for this transfer event, this multi-pass event. Lilu Dallas multi-pass. Yeah. Multi-pass. Uh, multi you know this multi And that's it, basically, for the whole thing. So let's look at how we handled uh, the, the inside of it. So that was right here. So you can see all of the events along the edges here, but it's really just uh, one event that's modified and then copy pasted. So at the bottom here, we've got a play sound effect. It's also a player touch event, and it's going to transfer them to the, the world map underneath it because it's at the bottom, and they're going to uh, face down. You could keep uh, the direction retained for all of these because they have to go in a certain direction to exit from that direction. So. <clears throat> you could either have them face down or retain. You make that one event, you copy paste it all along the bottom. Then you're gonna make another event where you could copy paste it and change this so that uh, now it doesn't transfer them below it, it transfers them to the left of it. You see all we're doing is moving the location right there. We can keep direction retain or we could have it face left, it's up to you, but the trigger is going to be player touch. Copy paste that for the whole side. Do the same, for, same thing for the top and the right hand side, except for the top you're going to have the players teleporting right above it. And for the right hand side you're going to have them, uh, you guessed it, right to the right of it.
And that's basically it. So this is how you would handle a multi-pass type uh, uh, event thing. Lilu Dallas multi-pass. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any special requests, put them in the comments below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Um, if you would like to join the Indie Dev Game Group, you can do that at driftwoodgaming.com. If you want to get more uh, connected with people who are like-minded or interested in similar things and maybe start a project together, maybe put it on Steam together, you guys can figure it out, I'm sure. The forums are there if you want to do that. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next tutorial. You want some more? It's now ready for more.